I was late then. You are late. So are the bosses. Yeah. Better not dock us wages. Oh, is he? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, a bit early for the hair of the dog, innit? Don't even worry, I'm never drinking again. Oh, don't worry, bacon butcher at Roy's will sort you out. Hey, is there a war on? You what? What are you doing stood outside like you're on the ration? Aidan's not turned up, or Elia. Yeah, if you speak to your son, tell him to take his time. <laughs> it's not a war on, is that? Lazy article slept in, hasn't he? Jeez. We've been studying here for ages. Here, can you try Elia? And I'll give my feckless son an earful. Can you hang on to that? Mm, yes. Yeah. So much for our breakfast date. Yeah, ten minutes, no longer. I'm starving. Right. Hey, Mrs. Connor. Morning. Morning. Eva hates me. Oof. Oh, you gave me a start then. What are you doing out here, David? Nerves, is it? About the plea hearing? Or something else? David, please, just talk to me, will you? I told the kids last night they'd better get used to life without me. Yeah, but is it courty enough? Mm -hmm. And Audrey, look. I'm wearing court shoes. Oh, yes, very clever. Get off the sofa. I don't want anybody coming. I want to go on my own. To court? No, to Iceland. Oh, Emma, what do you think he means? But I want to be there for you. Like the Friends theme music. Have you seen it, Audrey? It's this really old series, The Clue. Well, I don't want you there. I could to some slack, David. I'm wearing court shoes. Well, take them off. Why will you not let anyone help you? You can't do anything to help. It's too late for that. Aiden, get up, son. Get a wiggle on. You got a factory full over there, and they need controlling. I've been calling and calling. Went back to mine to get your keys, and oh. Aiden. You can let them go now, love. Love you two so much. Oh, this is breaking me in two. Oh, Emma, I've only known him five minutes. If you don't come back tonight, when will I see you again? You are gonna look after you. Yeah? Oh, lovely. Come on, then. We don't want to be late. Say it again. Oh, you can tell Aidan that there's no rush. Mm. You can get off if you want, Carla. Oh, I feel cold sore coming on. You what? Do you mean cold slot or do you mean cold sore? Oh, I'll get the word, please, over there. Maybe she's ordered some food in. Oh, have you, babe? <laughs> can I have some? 
I'm famished. What are you on about? Why would I order food here? You all right, Mrs. Connor? What are you doing here? Well, I'm not getting my low lights done. Have you seen David? Uh, I think he's probably on his way to court by now. Yeah, I want to see him. You're obsessed. I want a time to plead not guilty. I know it goes against the advice he's had, but... You after a sainthood or something. But he'll get a trial, and then he stands a fighting chance. It's not prison he needs, it's help. David's a grown man, and I think he needs to learn that his actions have consequences. I am worried about him. You have done everything you can. This is not your problem. Just let it go. Feeling. It's a day of first for me. I don't think I've ever had to deal with an assault case that came of a boxing match before. I like the lucky one. Well, fingers crossed. I'm gonna be back in your own bed by tonight, okay? Come on. Upstairs. Couldn't help but notice you. Is everything all right? Well, everything is clearly not all right. It's Aiden. Has he hurt himself? Has he had an accident? He's, um... What, what, what? What's happened? He's killed himself. You do us a favour, or can you go and get Kate from the bistro and send her here, please? Uh, yes, yes, of course. I'm, I'm very sorry. Restocking the fridge. Yeah, that could be working. Stay there, then. Oh, you better not be knocking on American's moves. What's up with American rough, more like? What's this all about? Can you turn it down, please? Uh, no, she's in Birmingham. Birmingham? Yeah, she's got mates in, dude. She'll be back tomorrow. Ah, uh, right, okay. I'll drop her a text. Well, she's walking by for a while. She's driving. You all right, Roy? What can we do for you? Kate, you, could you come with me, please? It, it, it's important. I'm actually in the middle of a dance class right now, so... <laughs> please, I, I, I need you to come with me now. What's the matter? What is it, Roy? Tell me. If, if you just come with me... I'm not moving a muscle until you tell me what's going on. Something has happened. Who is it? Is it Carla? No, no, no. Has something happened to my dad? Has something please, happened to my... Please, no. Is it Aiden? What's happened to Aiden? I don't know the details, but uh, it would appear that he's uh, taken his own life. I'm very, very sorry.
His dad been serving dodgy kebabs. <laughs> he is gone. He's dead. Killed himself. Roy, is this true? Sadly, yes. I'm so sorry. Me and my mouth. Oh, shaky, why was shaky? He's just in shock, that's all. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> what are you doing here? It's for an ambulance. What's going on? You better come with me. I've not seen him. No, well, I have. You might still be breathing. not, Kate. Oh, I didn't realise you were a trained nurse. I can tell when somebody's dead or not. Mm, listen to yourself. It's OK, OK. This isn't helping, all right? I know it's a lot to take in, but... If he's dead, then why is there an ambulance outside? I don't know. Standard procedure, I don't know. Exactly. I'm sorry to have to ask you this, but was it you who moved him? I thought it might be in time. Can you tell me how your son's state of mind has been recently? Had he displayed any suicidal thoughts or tendencies? He's in there, right? No, 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 no. Oh, so it's no, okay for you to go in there. Kate, it's not a competition. You can't go in there, I'm afraid. He's my brother. It must have been an accident. It must be. Why would he do something so daft? Why would he? I don't know. He's had an accident and you're slagging him off saying it's suicide. It wasn't an accident. Is he really dead? Yes. You're lying. Why would I do that? I want you to be lying. Is there anywhere else you could all go? It's going to be a while before my colleagues have finished in here. Yeah, yeah. No! No way I'm leaving my son on his own here. He needs me. Are you going to tell me what's going on or what? Because I'm going to just walk over there and knock on the door, you know? Well... Brandy, I don't... Uh, really, really sorry, Eva, but... Something's happened to Aidan. And, well, you know, I wouldn't have believed it myself if, uh, if Roy hadn't said it was true, but... Can you just tell me what's going on? Is he all right? You're worrying me now. No. He's not all right. He's killed himself. I was with him last night. You've got that wrong. I'm sorry, Eva. Aidan's dead. Oh, them ones about labour and giving birth. Mm. The midwife seemed dead nice, though. I can see the attraction. Are you attracted to midwives? No. I didn't mean it like that, Auntie Bear. Do you know what? I go to bed and I leave them on the couch watching reruns and then they'll text me at, like, one in the morning going, She's had a cesarean! <laughs> <laughs> it must be one of the most beautiful things in the world, giving birth. Oh, that could only come out of the mouth of someone who's never been in labour. <laughs> yeah, you clearly didn't see my eye. Well, you can't beat it, giving someone a gift of life. Oh, looking into them sweet, innocent eyes and thinking, what lies in store? <laughs> you end up working here, that's what lies in store. Mm. Oh, he's got you doing his dirty work, has he? Sorry. Pleading guilty, that's good. Bottom line is, I'll be able to argue your sentence down and you're gonna be back at home with your kids by tea time. Just take a minute. 
Is it Aiden? We good friends. Still a bit of shock though, isn't it? How long had you known him? I can't do this. Yes, you can. Because you have to. But you just need to take a minute and I don't know, man up. Man up. Oh God. Hey, excuse me. Sorry, I'm a solicitor. My client's just had a bereavement. Hey, David! I will be two minutes. David! I knew this bloke when I was a carpet fitter, he did it. Two weeks after his wedding, kid on the way. So she talked to me. It's not always easy to say it. Sometimes it's just so hard to put into words <laughs> how you feel. Is that you speaking from personal experience? No. No. But I had a friend who considered it. Things just got on top of him. It happens. Outwardly, you wouldn't have known a thing. Then you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Well, that's always someone who'll listen. To your friend. I would. Good to know. How is he now? Yeah, he's all right. You should probably tell Michelle. No, I can't. She said she'd text when she got there, which means she must still be driving. You know what the traffic's like on the M6. I don't want her crashing on me. Well, if you want to head down there to tell her I can cover for you here, I don't know, whatever you need, really. You'd probably get there quicker if you go on the train. I should, I should tell her in person, really. Listen, we won't open today. It doesn't seem right. Um, could you phone around everyone who's booked? Yeah, of course. Thanks. Oh, what am I gonna say? Voicemail oh, again. He's trying to get older. Ronnie. Oh, darling. Oh, I, 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 I can't believe it. Why? Why would he do such a thing? A million dollar question. It was an accident. It must have been. I'm so sorry. Where is he? Well, it seems highly likely that Aiden's death was suicide. Sure, that I don't believe this. Kate, it's true. He left a note. Saying what? Saying don't go in the bathroom, ring the police. Why would he say that? I don't know, maybe to protect us. To protect us, protect us. He's failed spectacularly on that one. Hey, Kate, Kate, you're upsetting your dad. Well, that's funny. Aiden topped himself, but somehow I'm the one that's upsetting that. No, typical. Always the golden child. Hey, I, I know you're hurting. No, I'm not hurting. Just let it out. Right now, I hate him. <laughs> there was this time before things got bad. We were going out one Sunday. <laughs> going up to Alderley Edge for some lunch. See if I could find any footballers. <laughs> and I said to him, you look nice. Make sure you look smart.
March. We laughed and laughed and laughed. <laughs> now you tell me how we can go from that. Do you, um, do you want me to call Toya, Pollyanna? No, no. Nobody c can know that I'm here. <sighs> it's my fault, isn't it? No, no. It is not your fault. OK, you can't be thinking like that. to see me last night. I thought he'd worked it out about the baby. He was talking in riddles and... I came back this morning to ask him why he'd give me this. I thought we were going to get back together. Hey, hey, breathe, breathe. Okay, just remember, just keep breathing, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this now. He chose to do what he did. You didn't make him, nobody did. This is not your fault. <sighs> Why don't you start at the beginning? Worked what out about the baby. You can tell me. Honestly, whatever it is that you've done, I can bet you I've probably done worse. No. No, I don't think so. There's times like this I want to find Sai, give him a hug. I mean, what a waste. He had the world at his feet, really. And a big dark cloud hanging over his head that none of us could see. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Let's change the subject. I'm gonna have to phone Eva. Oh, no. I mean, I know it's awful doing things like that on the phone, but what else are we gonna do? Yeah, and also, you better be quickly before all them professional mourners start pouring their heart on social media. I'll call her. Why are you? Well, well she is a trained counsellor, you know, because it's gonna hit Eve hard. And, you know, after all them things that they went through. Yeah. No matter what she said, she loved him. It's the only reason she left Weatherfield, because he was messing with her head. I'm gonna call her now, actually. Yeah. What time will it be in America? Oh, well, she'd want me to wake up for this, wouldn't she? Uh, I don't know, kiddie. I don't know. That's everything with David into perspective. Oh, well, I'll remind you of that when you're queuing outside strange ways to see you. I do find you a bit negative, you know, Audrey. Do you? Yeah, just saying. Well, I might nip to Dev's and get some rose-tinted spectacles if he's got any in. And a little bit sarcastic. <laughs> Dearing me, I'm just warming up, actually. Have you noticed how much David's changed recently? Yes. Well, he's got a lot in his head, Gail. Just these last few days, like he's cut himself off from the world. Well, maybe that's his, what you call it, coping mechanism. Oh. Excuse me, ladies, have either of you seen David? Well, isn't he in court? With you? Yeah, he's supposed to be, but he's run off. He was in the right state about Aiden. What? He's due up in half an hour, and this is not going to look good. I'll call him. He's not answering. Oh, I hope he hasn't done anything daft. Well, of course he's done some at daft, Gail. He's not gone to court. Oh, dear. I'm just talking nonsense. He must be in shock. Yeah. Ignore me. You know when you said that Aidan worked it out about the baby? Do you mean he found out about the abortion you had? How could I be so stupid? What? I just remembered. What? Eva? Last night, he told me he loved me. Well, that's good. You need to hang on to stuff like that. He wouldn't want you hurting. There was me thinking he wanted to get back together. But he did say I'd be better off without him. None of this makes any sense. 
Was he trying to tell me and I was just too stupid to realise? I mean, I know I'm not the brain of Britain, but... I just blanked it all out when I found the ring. I thought, OK. This is good, this is a sign. He can see a future. When the whole time he was just trying to tell me goodbye. Oh, it's, it's Gail. She's probably just ringing to tell me about Aidan. <sighs> Hi, Gail. No, he's, he's not. Why would he be with me when he's supposed to be? <sighs> OK. I'm on it. Um... <clears throat> Look, David's gone walkabout, so I'm going to go and help try and find him. Do you want to stay here for a bit? Yeah. Yeah, is that OK? Yeah. I'm sorry to leave you in the lurch. But I'll be back soon, OK, and we can keep talking. I'm sorry. He was the last person to touch me. Oh, love. I think I know what you're going to say. I don't know what to do. I mean, what am I meant to do? Look, come in, Gail. We've got Imram and Shona looking for him, and I'm far too long in the tooth to be wandering around Weatherfield on a wild goose chase. If he wants to be found, he will be. Come on. Forty odd years I've lived on this street. That same view every day. Practically know every cobble back to front. I like to think we look out for each other round here. And without being nosy, know what's going on in each other's lives. But you don't, do you? Not that I knew him that well. Just to say hello to, really. But he was always polite with me. Which is more than you can say for some folk. I hope I'd have listened. If he ever wanted to speak to me. Not that he would have done. I wonder when he did it. When I was reading the kids a bedtime story. When I was getting ready for bed. When I was having some toast this morning. Or was I sleeping? Safe. In here, with the double glazing and the central heating, thinking our problems are bigger than everybody else's. We've all been sleeping, ma'am. I can't stop thinking about poor Johnny. His son's not coming home tonight. I just hope to God mine isn't. Oh, 
along. Where are you going? I just need to get some nappies. I won't be long. Oh, I thought we were all right for nappies. Oh, we can't be too careful. Have you spoke to Eva? No, I'm going to try her again now. Right, well, let me know what she says, yeah? Hey, how's the little one? It's hard enough to get your head around as an adult, let alone a kid. I fancy some company. Yeah, go on, then. How you feeling? You know, when you're swimming and your head's underwater and you can't hear anything. You gave Liam this expensive watch of his. I thought it was odd. You seemed happy last night. I know. Laughing, joking. Well, as I've always said, suicide's the most selfish thing you can do in the world. Are you for real? You can say what you like, Gina. You're not going to change my mind. Well, until you've stood on that precipice, then you don't have the right to judge. Mm. Gina's right, aren't you, there? It is selfish. Imagine how devastated all the Connors are going to be. They might never get over it. He might have ended his problems, but he's going to give them a million more. It is a lot more complicated than that, though. Anyone want a drink? No, I've got one straight on. Put your phone away, Soph. Mummy texted me last night, asking if I was going to go to the party, and I didn't message back. Now I can't stop looking at it. Well, don't tell anybody that. Not yet. Hi, Sally. What can I get you? Uh, two white wine spritzers, please. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah, I know. People don't kill themselves because they want to die. They do it because they're desperate. And they can't see any other way through it. You don't think he's selfish because you're worried about your job, Auntie Beth? That's not it, is it? No! How can you even think that? It's a terrible thing to say. You don't think this will affect us jobs, do you? Scared. It's okay to be scared. I know you probably don't want to hear it, but the day of Clayton's trial, I... I was raped. Josh raped me. Eva, I'm so sorry. What are you doing here? I tried to phone him this morning and he didn't answer my calls. So I came back to have it out with him about last night. I'm sorry. I know it was a massive risk to our secret, but it's the way he was talking. It's like he'd worked it out about the baby. I know it sounds daft and he didn't say it out loud, but it's like he was giving me his blessing. Yeah, I think he'd worked it out. He said to me, um, he said, your secret's safe with me. When? Well, he held Susie in his arms, and then later... How could he have worked it out? Eva, what have we done? Oh, if he was OK with it. Yeah, but what if that tipped him over the edge? Well, he said stuff to me, like, whatever you decide to do about the baby, he was fine with it. Yeah, but he, he wasn't thinking straight. He was just trying to say goodbye and I didn't realise. Oh, come on, darling, listen. This isn't your fault, OK? Believe me, none of this is your fault. It's not your fault. He drugged my drink with GHB. I was worried about you seeing him at what I thought was drunken state, so he suggested that we should go back to his. And we'd been falling out about me going out and drinking all the time. I kind of cared, David. Well, anyway, we went back to his flat. I was, I was sat on his couch. And he was, he was touching my leg and I, I tried to push him off, but I couldn't. 
And then I'm on my feet. And he was, he was pulling me towards his bedroom. And I don't, I don't remember much after that, but then I, when I woke up, I knew what he'd done to me. I'm so sorry, David. Why did I realize? I, I was too ashamed to say anything. And I, I was worried that whatever I did say, that you won't believe me, that you, that you thought I was making it up. Now look at me. Look at me. I do believe you. I believe every word you've said. Okay. I've got you back. Don't say that. Why? Because he said that. Leanne thinks I'm on the phone to you now, waking you up with the news. I'll have to work out a cover story. What you said, how you reacted. So many lies. I could take you back to Lim, to the cottage, if you want. Yeah, you could come back tomorrow, say that you got the first flight back from America after I phoned. I'm sure you can get Shona to keep quiet. Oh, we could come clean. Tell his family that he came to see me last night. It might help them to know that he made peace with everything. So what, they think at least he was happy? I mean, he, he couldn't have been. But what good would it do? You haven't got any answers for them. In fact, you just hand them a load more questions. It's such a mess. What he's done. What we've done. Something quite appealing about being honest for a change. I think you should sleep on it. I think this is a knee-jerk reaction. Oh, yeah. That is his daughter over there and they haven't got a clue. I'm pretty sure that when something like this happens, all bets are off. Yeah, I thought you might say that. You think of her as your own now, don't you? Yeah, of course. I mean, I was out of my mind with worry last night, thinking that you and Aiden were going to get back together and that you'd want to take Susie back and... Oh, I must sound so selfish. <laughs> it's also because you love her. <laughs> Is Peter good with her? He's besotted. Get your keys. I'll go back to Lim. I, I just need to sort stuff out. I just need to work out what we're going to do. Well, not what we're going to do, but... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Is being on your own going to help that? I don't know. I feel like I'm going mad. Snap. I mean, when she got out of that carriage and I saw how crumpled her dress was, I thought, well, that's got to be some kind of cover over it. And then the, the train, it, it was the length of an actual train. But then the, the Emmanuel started to brush it down and I thought, oh, that is the actual dress, can you believe it? Sorry, I know I'm, I'm wittering on. No, oh, carry on. It's the only thing to distract us. We're, uh, <clears throat> we're going to take Aidan to the mortuary now. OK. Um, are, we, are we OK with that? I don't think that's up to us, is it? Johnny? Do, do you mind? It's his little boy. You need to have tapers. <laughs> I 
I turn off love you, you know. Without him, my life, my boy. <laughs> hey, where'd you go for them nappies, my land? Well, I was on the phone to Eva for ages, and then. You mean crying? It is allowed. I know. Oh, love. So, how was she? How did she take it? She's coming back on the first available flight. Right, shall I call her? No, no, she's in a mad dash, and she said she'll catch up with you tomorrow. Yeah, she'll be all over the place, won't she? I worked with this girl from New Zealand once. Her dad died. She couldn't get a flight for hours. I ended up sitting up with her all night. She just rocking back and forth. So far away, it didn't seem real. Hey, at least we've got this little one, eh? Keep us busy. She's gonna need all our love and support when she gets back. Yeah. Good thing is, it gets to me a little niece. Yeah. you put a smile on anyone's face, wouldn't you, eh? <laughs> Thank God we got you. Why is he doing this to us? But why is he even doing it to himself? I don't understand it. Right. I need to get to court. What are you going to say? That you're representing the Invisible Man? No. I'm going to tell him the truth. My client's gone missing. Where is he? Well, an arrest warrant will be issued if he's absconded. <gasps> Why is he doing this stupid brother? Well, after what's happened today, I just hope he's all right. Come on. I just don't know what to say. There's nothing really anyone can, is there? You're just in shock. Oh, Johnny. It's hard to say. I'm stopping with him. I'm coming home. No, there's nothing you can do, is there? Just stay there with Robert and come back tomorrow. I don't want you driving anywhere where you've just had this news. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. Carla. What? I love you. I love you too. I love you too. I'll see you tomorrow. Johnny's out like a light. I don't know how we can sleep if it really weighed. Everybody reacts differently to shock, don't they? My job's just to make sure Johnny's fine. Fine? Are you mad? No. How can he be fine? He'll never be fine again. None of us will. I'm telling you now. I'll never forgive our for doing this. Ever. Listen to me. Listen. I love you. Do you? Yeah. And I believe you. And do you know who else will believe you? The police. No. No, I can't. I'm not telling anyone else. I only told you because I... What with everything that's going on in my head, I know I'd have ended up like Hayden. And I'm really sorry to lay it on you like hey, that. Hey, listen. Listen to me. You've done nothing bad, OK? That pervert has. But it is your call. I'm not going to push you. Hey, whatever you decide to do, I am going to be with you every step of the way. I'm so glad you told me. Why? Well, because you've told someone. You've not kept it all bottled up inside. I couldn't bear to lose you the way the Connors have lost Aiden. I came so close. But I've told you, and I love you. I love you so much. And if today's taught me anything, it's that, thank God, I want to live.
Well, if you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode of Coronation Street, you can visit itv.com forward slash advice for support information.